What is up, beautiful? Today we're watching people go from black to blonde. I was on theme today. Not even on purpose, but <laughs> go right on do. Da -da -da -da. Obviously, when you're going from black hair to blonde hair, you're gonna be met with a lot of things. A lot of trials and tribulations. I think that's how they are referred to as in the entire world. A lot of lightener, I'm sure, will be open today. A lot of scary things will happen to hair, and hopefully no hair falls to the ground and nobody becomes bald. Except it is always entertaining to watch. So do I hope that or do I not hope that? <laughs> there might be a little bit of breakage. Up first, we have a video by Jazzy Cakes. I just made the executive decision to just bleach this whole section down here. I don't think this piece turned out horrible or anything. So what happened then was she did like stripes of blonde on the side. Also, again, on theme. <laughs> What's I talking about? They came out really orange, and that is because she probably has black box dye in her hair. And so to get that out, it's gonna be very, very difficult, as we all know by now, right? Actually, probably a lot of people don't know, because people still do it. And she said it came out good, which I wouldn't disagree. It doesn't look bad. Her hair is still very orange on those two stripes in the front, and so her whole head is probably gonna turn that bright orange, and it's gonna be an iconic disaster. Hair is pretty thick, and it's gonna be really hard to do it by myself. Oh, <laughs> she's got so much hair, so much curl. Curl equals dry, dry equals not good for bleach. Also really dark, also really thick, also long. Oh, she's got all the odds stacked against her. So the first thing that I got is this tub of Quick Bloom, 30 volume cream developer. I have a lot of hair once again. Like it may be short, but it's very thick. The last thing that I got for this little project is this 20 volume developer. I know I'm gonna have to do more than one bleaching session and don't wanna put my hair through several rounds of like 30 volume bleach. Found the color Oops at Target, so that's good. To be honest, I'm just trying to really make sure that the whole piece is really saturated. No matter how many times I say it, nobody's ever gonna listen and it's okay if you listen to everything i say these would never be fun to watch first of all is her hair in a ponytail or something in the back i can't really tell also why are we starting in the middle of the head and why are we not sectioning i mean we're sectioning but not like in a proper way let's start at the bottom horizontal sections and let's work our way up but she is starting from the ends which is good because the heat from your head makes lightener process faster so we do not want to do our roots first even though that'd be so much more convenient you know in life like if our roots were cooler than our ends and they process slower that'd be so convenient I didn't really want to miss any like sections of it So I tried my absolute best to really cover the whole piece with bleach Okay, she's definitely putting a good amount of lightener on that hair Which is really important to getting the brightest most pure white bright blonde look ever even though she's not gonna get that But it's okay. <laughs> I still have this other half to do but for now I'm just gonna start off with like doing one half at a time I know these are really really thick and they probably shouldn't even be this thick thick is not good when lightening hair right we have to do very thin thin slices or else nothing is gonna process i fake tanned my body by the way and now they don't match my face you have to do the same amount of hair per foil or else the things will not process the same right if we have less hair in a foil that heat is going to really stimulate that hair if we have tons of hair in another foil that heat is not going to get all the way through and distribute through the hair evenly okay so you're going to get weird going on i'll wait 20 minutes and then i'm going to undo some of them and do my roots and then leave that on for a little bit but oh, we're doing it section by section oh this is going to take forever <laughs> i'm already tired my hair doesn't feel horrible, but I know the roots are going to be really scary looking. You know, it's not too far off from this color, so... Where are we going with this? What is happening? My hair looks freaking really gross right now. So before I bleach any more of my hair, I think the plan is to go with color oops and just put a little bit more on. There is box dye in her hair, so let's, let's remove as much pigment as we can before we then go and use some lightener. <laughs> As you guys can see, like clearly there was a lot of hair dye that was left in my hair from when I bleached this side of my hair. So I really, really wanted to try to focus on getting as much of the color dye out as possible. Okay, so the color remover did nothing. So I do want to focus on just kind of getting them even first before I do any more rounds of bleach. I tried to make the sections a little bit smaller. I don't know, I think I read somewhere that if the tinfoil pieces are like 
thinner than that's better, but I don't know if that's true. Let's play true or false. And all of you should know the answer to this because we just went over it. If there's less hair in the foil and the foils are thinner, they will process faster, brighter, and lighter. True or false? True! She nailed that. I'm gonna let this sit on here for like, uh, I don't know how long because I've been doing my hair for a while. You're gonna have to look at it frequently because your hair is already compromised. So let's be careful. Let's check at 35, 45, and an hour. You're probably gonna need an hour or a little more than that. It's giving copper. Listen, copper is a moment. Why don't we just do copper? It'd be so much easier for you. Going blonde is gonna be... <laughs> Impossible. Or just stay here. This is a vibe. This is cool. This is what my hair is looking like. It's looking horrible. Okay, I don't think it looks the worst it could ever look, but basically my hair is just like 30 different colors right now, and I want it to be all one general color. Don't we all. Cheers to that. It's not gonna happen. We're starting off in the front of our head, which is gonna be the hardest place to start because you're not gonna be able to see what you're doing when you get back here. Let's start back and go front. That way you can see the moment going on. Cause now you have a big piece of foil in front of your face. And I don't know about you, but I can't see through foil. I've done a horrible job on the roots. Pot roots are something that I do not want. So I kind of panicked a little bit and rinsed some of it out, but we're gonna have to see what the color is when I'm all done. Oh no, 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 no. Don't rinse early, you guys. You'd rather have orange hair than no hair, but you really gotta be careful with rinsing too early because then you're just stuck with orange hair and you have to do the entire process over again. And then you risk even more breaking off your hair because those ends are not done, girl. So this is where we're at right now. Oh my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> Put that away. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't need to make, make you feel bad about it. I don't mean to make you feel bad about yourself, but I think we're both thinking the same thing, so it's fine. You know, it's fine when we're both in agreement with how bad it looks. Yeah, so we got some dark roots going on. We got some really blonde, compromised front piece, money pieces. We got some like pink shining through from that red. We got some like copper. It's a whole hot mess and she is screwed. So just to take away a little bit of this brassiness, I'm just gonna go in with this Wella T18. <laughs> you are not about to tone your hair with T18. No, you're not. Girl, your hair is dark orange. Psych, bitch, you thought I wasn't actually gonna do that. <laughs> she f got me. I'm not kidding, I was shocked when she pulled out that T18. And I'm usually I'm not shocked, but like this, I would hope we all know that T18 is not gonna fix that. That was iconic. I can do a more even separation for when I do the top part of my hair, which I'm hopefully going to be doing it like a gingery color. So this is what it looks like, pretty much fully dry. To be honest, I'm really not mad at it. My hair is pretty damaged still. Honestly, the copper doesn't look bad on her. I don't know why she's not just like sticking with this and like doing a toner on top of copper. It's pretty cute on her. I think I'm probably gonna go in with this 20 volume developer. I like to add this Ion Brilliant stuff to my hair. Okay, looks like we're doing another bleach with 20 volume, which I think is good. I just worry about those front pieces. It was really, they're really scaring me. So here's my hair now after I did a bleaching session. To be honest, I'm kind of like salty that I, my dumb ass didn't get this part like this was literally why i did this and then i still missed it obviously still looks bad it's a lot lighter in person by the way i'm sure it is babe <laughs> okay well that's where it ended whoa not the results i was expecting um however her sense of style just honestly makes the fuck up hair look just a vibe like not a lot of people can just ruin their hair and demolish it and end up with weird orangey pink hair with blonde front pieces and make it work and make it look like a look but she she did that she's giving us punk and i'm here for it and it's a vibe it's not exactly something i would wear but for her it's good would i have liked it better if it was better yeah up next we have a video by loose with the juice today i'm going blonde at home by myself somehow something in my brain went lucy dye your hair listen i know the feeling i really do it's just like do it and i'm like ah and then my hand just like starts to go near the bleach and i'm just like yeah and i just start painting my 
hair and all of a sudden my hair is falling to the floor. Recently I had black hair. I stripped the black hair, went ginger, put bleach over the ginger hair, went more ginger. I paid £80 to look like this to be brunette with this kind of blonde in it. I'm gonna go full blonde. Oh shit. We already have a lot underneath what, what this is. There's blonde underneath this color. She's gonna fry her hair off. I got silver toner. I think that this is good, like, to tone your hair and stuff, like bleach and tone. I lift powder bleach. Four of these maximum cream peroxide. These are actually 40 volume. <laughs> Please do not use 40 volume. Two bottles of this Provoke Touch of Silver Color Care Shampoo. This is purple shampoo. I used to use this when I used to be blonde. It actually really dried my hair out, but I'm kind of using this as like a backup toner because I'm expecting my hair to go absolutely ginger. We're gonna use the shampoo that we f hate and we're gonna use 40 volume when we know it's not good for us. I don't know what to say. Brad Mondo. I love his videos. He always reacts like bleaching fails. So if this goes wrong, react to me. Like, come on. I'm here. Make it worth it. You're already setting yourself up for failure. So make it worth it. It comes with four of these sachet things. They're actually blue, which helps your hair not be orange, which is weird because mine always turns out orange. Oh my God. She's using box bleach too, which is fine. Like box bleach, sure. Whatever. If you want to do that, it's just going to cost you the same amount or more money to buy the boxes. And you need so many packs to actually cover your hair and make sure everything is super saturated. And it's just, oh, just buy a tub of bleach, please. I'm gonna put two of these packs and then two bottles of peroxide because to fill my whole head, I need two of them. Grr, for the whole head, you're gonna need five, 10 of them. Two of those packets for your entire head. Absolutely the hell not. Powder's blue, which will hopefully stop my hair from going ginger. Also no. It'll help, possibly, to make your hair not super ginger, but the blue bleach, it only tones so much. I still don't know how to undo child lock. Okay, if you don't know how to undo child lock, you should be banned from bleaching your hair. Somebody go into that bathroom and rip that bleach out of her hands because this is scary. Push and twist. And we're starting in the front of the hair. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> we are in fact though not doing the roots first so that's good excuse me sorry sorry that's my dog puking she's not puking she's fine okay as you can see i have all the bleach on my head i'm gonna put something on top like a carrier bag or something another pointer for you guys when you're lightening your hair don't put the hair into a bun right it's very tempting because your hair is all mushy and it has a lot of product in it so it kind of just sticks to itself but you don't want to put it all together because the middle parts will have a lot of heat there'll be a lot of heat in there from from wrapping the other hair around it and that part in the middle will process much faster than everything on the outside and you'll get like hot spots where you um wrap that bun so don't do that just let the hair sit naturally and also put some air in between the sections things all process the same way i'm gonna leave it on for about 55 minutes probably a good amount of time for her, like an hour so basically i've done my first bleach now and that's literally all i did i washed out the bleach and used some purple shampoo as you can tell my hair is a little bit ginger um i still have some dark color up here over here it's just a complete mess oh. We should have just kept the look you had before. It was giving. It was giving us natural and pretty. And you missed so many spots. What is up with that? And how with 40 volume did your hair not lighten at all? And also your hair had blonde underneath. So what is going on? Did you lie to me? I feel like Slim Shady right now. If you can see my hair, a lot of it's kind of this yellow blonde. And then some of it is this ginger brassy kind of color, which is completely fine because I'm going to be toning it in a bit, which will hopefully take away all this kind of color. Okay, so we have reapplied and you can tell her roots are processing faster than her ends and her ends are still really copper orange and she is so screwed if you're gonna do this you need to like horizontal sections very thin sections lay it over a piece of foil guys you don't have to even fold the foil okay just lay a big piece of foil paint all that section down lay another big piece of foil paint that section big one blah, 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 blah. go all the way up the head and it'll be much better than this that won't even be perfect because that is not really how we do it exactly in a salon but it'll be better than this i washed the bleach out and 
don't, I'm, I don't really know, basically I'm ginger, but that's not a problem, we can fix this. No, honestly, being ginger is not your biggest problem right now. The biggest problem is that your hair is crispy. I can see it through the screen. Your hair is like, uh, <gasps> you know, it's like f dying right in front of my eyes. Although I'm not sure if we can fix the black part in my hair, but we just can pretend that they don't exist. Like this part, that's fine. This part, not. I can always like re bleach over that part. How is she not freaking out? There are two different kinds of people in this world, I guess. People that like give a sh and people that just like don't give a sh And she is definitely one that doesn't give a sh and I'm jealous. Top of my head's way lighter than the rest, but it's all okay. Oh my God. Why does the top of your head look like an Oreo? When you do the roots, you guys, just do them all. I feel like that's pretty common sense. Just do all the roots. Don't do half of them. Don't do some of them. Do all of it. And when you think you got them all done, do it again. I'm about to use some toner, but they said the best thing to do was use a clarifying shampoo, which is what I did. Wash your hair and then kind of have like towel dry hair. So dry my hair with a towel. This is my hair dry towel. I'm quite surprised how much it's lifted. So I'm going to be using the Ryan Russell B Blonde Silver Toner. It has a little bit of a, a stay. It's never like this when it's dry. I remember being blonde. When I used to be blonde, my hair used to always turn out like this. But anyway. Oh my god. Purple cancels out yellow, not orange. Blue cancels out orange. I'm not even gonna get into that. Anyways, <laughs> you can't tone your hair lighter. Toner just makes the tone you have better or darkens your hair. I'm trying to explain it in the most simple terms I possibly can, but it's not that easy. Oh. The toner is now on my head, as you can see, purple. I've got this over my head because I've got to leave it on for 30 minutes, but then also said to put like cling film or something on your head and to hair dry it for five minutes. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So it's been a few hours since I toned my hair. As you can see, some of my hair is actually silver. If you look at the top, it's purple. Um, these are just the places where the toner really took to like mostly the lightest bits of my hair i'm not entirely happy with how it's turned out because this isn't the color i want i hope that you're not happy you are much happier though than i thought you would be you are definitely somewhat satisfied somehow in the back of my hair i don't know if you guys can see i'll show you i still have some like brown bits <gasps> Do you even see the back of her hair? <laughs> there are a few parts that are darker than others. I'm just like a quick bleach tomorrow. And then I'm also going to be toning my hair again. Uh, hoping to remove any brassy bits. I don't know if you can see, but up here, like you can see the red and the ginger. And it's all just different colours. And then right here, I've got purple. It's just a bit of a mess. But to be honest, it hasn't gone atrociously. It just hasn't gone great. I would hate to see what atrocious looks like. But maybe show me. <laughs> my visual learner. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't have anything. That's it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Those types of videos give me chills. Like just I don't have any words. It was just really traumatizing for me. But anyways, if you want to check out any of my hair care or my hair color, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to live your extra sexy, gorgeous life. And I'll see you next time we're here. Bye. <laughs>